Hello, Babylon fans. Uh, haven't streamed in forever, so kind of just want to see how this goes. I'm not. No, I'm not going to put this anywhere. It's just like for me to see if I can play online as well. Because I've not been playing, playing greatly, I must say. I'm playing with um, this. I've been working with Eli. I played a bunch of leagues with my. Turbo list with Rebel Masters, which I really enjoyed. Uh, just want to give out just want to see how other things we do online as well. Um, I played a couple of leagues with Mickey's list as well. I made mistakes, so like I lost too many Mickey's list as well. Too many games to mistakes, and don't think it's. I oh, don't do this. Don't think it's worth exposing it. Uh, I want to see how this goes. I really like. I don't really like the idea of just one more commercial, but I understand it, um, and I'm willing to give it a try. I. Don't know if I'm the biggest fan of having just 16 red mana sources, but let's see how that goes. God. And, um, Jeez, my internet is just not working properly here. I did this. Okay, this kind of goes. So, so yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like the idea of playing the Grinzo, I think it's a really good card sometimes, it just flat out wins games. I like the two munition expert, two gem bomb incinerators, I think gem bomb has been playing fairly well uh, recently. Uh, I like the two slings, I like having all all the goblins in the main deck, like the main deck, special like Mons, Chain Wheeler, Trash Monster, Eureka Squad. So that leaves a lot of room in the sideboard. And then mind break traps and search goals are the turn zero interactions that it's like it's needing right now. A uh, couple of pyrokinesis that I really like the, the one pyrokinesis in main deck because that, but I think it does we do need a second one. And that paired up with the Tarfire, which is the most efficient answer to Blade Engineer. Um, uh, second Muxus, it's now in the sideboard because we were seeing like we were getting it stranded in your hand wide a lot um, in several matchups, but it's still very good against combo and control, so it comes in against those. But if you're playing against an Ethelver or Death in Texas or things with Wastelands, I uh, don't really want the, the two Muxus and I uh, get a couple more. It's kind of Grave Hate, kind of Tarmogoyf Hate, then some lands, and it's for control as well. I want to see how the One Blood Moon performs. Never, I don't, not never, but usually I don't want to side, side in more than one in this kinds of list because sometimes it just doesn't do anything and then it's going to be a terrible top deck, but this mitigates that in the sense that it's just one top deck. And Three player blast effects. Should go with them all. Okay, I'm gonna play with this and 
see how the streaming and the quality of it goes. Let's see how much delay there is. It would be a terrible top deck with this UTK set. In essence, that is just one top deck. And it's very delayed. Very, very delayed. Uh, I have no idea how to change that. If anyone does, just let me know afterwards. So, bam, bam. Here we go. It's like 20 second delay. Um, yeah, we're on the draw. Okay, playing against Burn. Uh, land to kill that guide upgrade. It doesn't have to be this turn because it's just gonna make me discard. Uh, being on the draw against Burn is just really bad. I'm glad I have my mountain for land. If I draw, if they, they give me any other land, that's gonna be amazing because I can kill that. Um, Goblin Guide. Yay, Shimmy! How's it going? Um, I'm trying, trying to stream again. See how this goes. Gotta, oh god damn. So now I'm gonna have to decide. Either play the second lucky or second vial. Uh, I think even my. My life total we should be lucky. Maybe they they like they like lucky. Like what time it's that's still before lunchtime over there, right? Like it's it's a good time to to watch the stream. Uh get that early Okay, so that's free damage that Warren, Warren directed at me. Okay, now if they attack with both their creatures and I get a land, then I can kill that Eidolon and maybe win. Yes! Okay. Whew. So maybe this works, boys. Uh, they might have a Fire Blast in their last card, but I don't think there's something I can play around. Because if they do, I, I, I'm going to lose either way. Homework back in school. What's happening? Oh, the. Oh, and I also got a. Oh, an expert to violin kill their creatures. Uh, they have one card in hand. They're going to two. It's very, very unlikely they can get, get 10 damage in. Hooray. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. So now to four, top deck fire blast can kill me.
Well, you have a job. That's the good, good things. Uh, I can just get a power driver and see if that kills them, right? Okay, so I can... Violin, like, or chief play. Prospector play. Charlotte Mons. Cure their things. Maybe I'm just overthinking this as well. I can get, like, matron for power driver. An attack power driver is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's, that's more than meaningful, right? Kind of been playing extra extra carefully because I made so many mistakes. A few the last few leagues I played. Uh, so yeah, I may be a bit just slow side, but God, winning game one on the draw against Burn, it's fantastic. Don't know if I want the Muxus, but don't think I want any of the other cards. Squad doesn't do much. Trash Master easily doesn't do much. Sometimes they bring in like an artifact, but it's not great. Um, kind of like everything else. Chain Wheeler, it's good against. Thank you for coming by. Uh, I might be streaming like earlier on a bit in the morning, so let me know if like this this time is good. And then how things are. Mm. I don't know if I want the Muxus. Uh, I like all my cards very much. Power driver and war chief provide a lot of clock. Maybe Shalik Mons is like the worst card against Burn. Keeping the one Muxus. Um, I think ringleader might be better than the second Muxus just because like it is costable in a regular game. Especially on the on the draw, maybe on the play. I'll see how this goes. I don't I don't think I played Burn recently. I played against Burn. Blasting, sweet. Yeah, I do. I do think I like this list quite a lot. Okay, I got file and then I can kill their turn one. Dude, and have a more or Marshall. <coughs> Sorry, uh, second ring leader is kind of bad. I'm keeping this. Okay. So next turn they can punch me for a lot of damage. But apart from Burknesis, there's not much I can do, and I don't don't know if I would 
Pyrokinase is alone on our series with Spear. More with 19 life. That I would do. Alright, oh, Lens would be lovely. If I draw a Lens, I can even. Oh, second Vial. And. Fortunately, I don't think I'm in position to cost second Vial. I think. Killing this Swift Spear right now is the best thing I can do. Next turn, Morgan Marshall comes out of Vial. And then I can play the second one. I think that gives me the best chance of winning. And I think I'd rather kill the Swift Spear. Rather the Goblin guy, give me my, like my third land drop. They have like land into smashed smithereens, that's really bad. But Okay, they got six damage in there for me. Um, I'm getting a prospector. I really need a second vial on. I feel like I really want to. So I feel like I'm gonna play the prospector violin, the Morgul Marshall, and cast the second vial in case of a smash to the and in. I don't necessarily need to kill the Goblin Guide, I think like if I survive a couple more turns, like it's just gonna die to whatever the hell I draw. That's a lot of damage though in my face. They may just just have me. Bird land. Uh, so I imagine they have like three spells. A double block. I can kill that creature next turn either way. After getting this land. If they choose to bolt anything, I'm completely fine with that. But I think they're gonna play like a vortex snaring breach, so that's the see I, I love that they have that card right now because just doesn't do much. Took out a Trash Master, but I can easily find a Crater Maker for it. Like, it's not a burn spell, it's not a creature that can pressure me. I can still attack with Prospector. Just wondering if I play Wasteland in case of a price of progress. Because from now on I could just very feasibly wasteland myself to save two damage. 
because of the three cards in hand, it might be like boat boat at six damage and a price of progress would kill me. So I think I do that and I would sleep Wasteland up forever when they have two mana up. And this matron can get either now a slinging or. Um, yeah. Or a crater maker. Oh, this was this was bad though. No, I, I forgot about yeah. I forgot about munitions expert. Mm. So if I if I take <laughs> uh, this is fine though. I can just get Ching Wheeler in play. I can steal Matron next turn if I want to. I think this fire guy coming in at 4 and 2. Not gonna violate Ringleader because I may just naturally draw Slinging. Oh, third Ringleader. So, what I want to do now. Is just like leave a wasteland up, sacrifice chain wheeler, cast matron, and get a sling game. Because I don't want to die. And then I have sling and a whole bunch of ringleaders just to whatever the hell I want, I guess. And I'll do it that way so I can keep up my wasteland again. It's weird sacrificing like Chain Wheeler for maybe nothing. But I do think it's like the correct choice. You smash two smithereens. Uh, I feel like I should have keep it. Because of triple boat. <laughs> or like boat, boat, fire blast, fire blast, boat, whatever, sneezing you. Oh, it's worse against like sorcery removals, like a chain lightning. But I think it's fine. Even if it eats like one boat, that's four damage swing. 
Oh, wow. Price of progress exiled. Um, all right. So playing around price of progress was important. <laughs> um, I was not expecting a Empire Blast effect. Now they have one card in hand and I have 13 life. Uh, 11. Cool. I can't attack. Mm -hmm. It might not matter. Mm -hmm. I think this vial can stay at two. So I get Grenzo in, so it's gonna be like a no no. Oh, Crater Maker, so I can attack now. So I can play Lucky, yeah, cool. Save off that wasteland. Uh, in case they have another perspective, I don't want to sacrifice all my lands. Okay. Hmm. Okay, go for a ringleader here again, and then I can play slinking, depending on. Okay. So I got five saying two. It's lethal. That is lethal already. I can stop overthinking it. Okay. That's burned, done. Let's see what else we can face. Okay. So I'm gonna draw again. Um, I don't 
think I would keep this as even under play. It's not great, but it's a keep. Am I thinking really? Yeah, I think I'm thinking ringleader. Even though I did not want to get it out, uh, there is arguments for expert as well. I don't think bottoming any of the lens is the correct thing to do. Island, go. So am I foreseeing any combo? No. Fatal push. Or something like that. We could just attack. See what happens. If I had another red source, I would play the red source. Just to block like a snapcaster if they have it or something. Okay. So it might be combo. I may I may matron for Lucky. Cast Lucky. Um Matron for Lucky, cast Lucky. Wasteland them. Following turn I get two pro drivers in. That's the Q in a couple of turns. Muxus is better against like show and tell or something like that. Also getting mooks is like if they do have a fatal push for it, they draw it next turn or something. Like it's not a combo deck. I feel like it's a deck that just had way too many counter spells in hand. <laughs> because combo would not concede over there in that position. So if it's control, well it's blue so I want these cards. And then maybe I want Blood Moon, maybe I want Relic, or Search Goal, or Tar Fire. Because they probably play Engineer. But four cards. Mm -hmm. oh, I think Pirate Driver is traditionally not amazing. Get to Lackey as well. Maybe I don't know if this is all just wrong. Just kind of shaving at random, maybe. But if it's not combo, <laughs> uh, 
yeah, they probably have more answers to Lucky. Trash Master maybe doesn't do anything. Chewler is mediocre, appealing Strixes and Snapcasters. And Power Driver doesn't add value or removal nor mana. So, yeah. And then Muxes, if it's controlled, is really good as well. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, they have Blaze. Interesting. That is Tutsis, yeah. So that should take Lackey. If they have removal, they may take a green leader now. If they take Lackey, I'm gonna play Carbon Results it away to hedge against him to Tark. If they take Ring Leader, I'm gonna play Carbon either way. Rex's control, yeah, with a basic, with a basic um, island, then yeah, you can just assume it's control. Uh, I could port or try to like the, you know my hand. I could try the most ambitious flash munition expert to cast the Rex card following turn, but. Let's port them up black. Uh, and next turn, if I don't draw one drop, I'll probably play Matron for Ring Leader. Uh, if I draw a fifth land, I may play Matron for Muxus. Draw a wasteland, I may wasteland them. Okay. Because I feel like they're gonna engineer me either way. I could have laid a different land down. Like they all have value because this lets me cast Power Blast and Cycle Jump Home. And this in play next turn. Would be really nice. Well, mm. yeah, I'm gonna go for Muxus since I draw the land. So in three turns, I have to draw one more land. Uh, I think they're gonna engineer me. That means I can double port their following turn, if they don't hem me, Viviana, okay, uh, that's annoying, the pressure still end, yeah, I think I stick to the plan, so four, goes to five, I get five lands. It goes to six, I got six lands. It goes to seven. So it's not the most terrible thing. I'll keep porting black, so if they draw like removal spells, they have to fetch four. So I can port double red, but I kinda I think they've done it preemptively, so they go like, oh, I can cut them off red. But I feel like it's better to cut them off not only like double blue, but double black. I think double black is quite important. Uh, so 
so they can only like cast one cantrip if it breaks or something. Ah, oh, the dot sees is pretty dull. So that that's my plan gone. Out the window. is not where I want to be. <sighs> can just cast squad. Probably eats a boat, but even if they play engineer, they don't have boat. Minus two, minus one, it, it turns into a two one still. Blood Moon might be good against them. They maybe have like one. What's up? How is it going? It's been a long time. Um, yeah, just trying out streaming for the first time in a while, just to see how this goes. Tuesday Night Legacy, yeah. I, I can play a bit more online now. Uh, I think real paper Tuesday Night Magic is just going to be, just going to take a while still. Command is brutal. Drawing one more land would be brutal again. I can double board this turn still and then play Crater Maker into Expert to do some damage over there. Or I do it this turn. So yeah, I feel like I can play Crater Maker, tap one of their lands. I'm I'm in England for quite a while now. Um, just just lockdowning, lockdowning here. Move everyone. So we should. So I'm gonna lose both my creatures, but what can we do? Oh, I need ringleaders or or the other muxes now to even think about getting into the game. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to say Night Legacy for still months to come. I'm only going to go back like to work in May, I think.
so paper events might take some time. But I do have my muxes with me, so whenever that happens, I'm ready to go. Should maybe like buy another port because I only have three. Muxes, no. I don't think holding the loan is a good idea against like a him and even getting a loan out of my deck is like it's not great value but it's no real reason not to. I don't get anything by keeping it. The only part about keeping a card in my hand is like if they have a Culligan's command. Oh, which they do. <laughs> So they can kill my goblin and make me discard. I could have ported them because I did have to read. I could have ported them in my upkeep, but then they just do when I double port them in their turn, so and just like lose one land. Liliana has one more counter in it. It doesn't really matter. Just so that fire blast would have been. I mean, maybe. Oh no, it would not have mattered because I, I would only have one port. Um, I think I should have got that fire in my hand now. And I should be porting blue, but now I'm just doing stuff. Again, just to like minimize the amount of kindreds they have. It's not like the, the amount of red mana they have means anything. You do have a swamp. Um, I think I bring in the Blood Moon. I think I take out one. Oh god. Oh, now I can cut them off red, so that's slightly different. They're gonna ultimate, but that's gonna take a couple of turns to kill me. So maybe they have to bottom like a ringleader and then uh, there's a Muxus on top. Maybe they use their planeswalkers before. I don't know, there's just no point of scooping right now, is there? So, Blood Moon. I don't think I want relics or
invite that in. Relics or search codes, or trap or pyrokinesis. Like a good Muxus can still win the bottom, so that's disencouraging to say the least. So that's still not lethal, so I'm kind of fine. Can even draw a matron now. Just get a muxus down. No, nope. cannot. Um, well, I'm gonna play this because why not? I mean, again, there's the reasons why not. So yeah, Blood Moon. That's it, really. I mean, it was a beating, but there. Yeah, the, the dot seizes were just really good, so I, I never played this ringleader. And the other one to start the Muxus, so it was us ringleader and Muxus. Command made me discard Power Blast and land, which isn't the worst. I don't think they have Red Source Bolt, so. So I need Muxus, so this gives me a better chance if I leave it at free. No. Just terrible. Terrible draws. Uh, okay, so you come in. Yeah, I don't think I need three of those. Like it's it's cantrips, like they get they get stuck in your hand and then your opponent can tot seize you and uh, him to Torak and Colligan's command to play Liliana and whatnot and your parallel boss just kind of rots. Haven't seen a single creature. So I'm just thinking about this gem palm. Maybe I'll cut a gem palm for a tar fire. It might be good against planeswalkers or a plane engineer if they actually play it. Okay. Let's get that vial port. Wasteland. Uh, they have a force for this, really annoying. If they don't, they're going to six. I think I can do it. I I think I foothills first, so it inclines them more to play dual land instead of fetching out for a basic if they're shorter lands. 
and after the first wasteland hits, the second one is more likely to hit as well. a good hand against Totsies. Okay, port, now it's the draw. Hmm. Does it matter now? Um, I'm thinking about the wasteland because they there are scenarios where I may want to wasteland them in my draw step, for instance. Uh, sure. Uh, so them playing dual is really really good now. So I'm kind of happy I held the wasteland. Maybe they they would have fetched for a basic swamp. Like if they have a fetch in their hand, and that's their only red source. Maybe they would have played it differently. What do they take here? I'd say matron, and then try to deal with these things. Because they have to assume like wasteland, they're, they're being hit by wasteland now. Uh, wait, one, two, then following turn. Really, they're okay. Maybe they think they can get rid of Matron before it comes an issue, or they just have another discard spell. I don't know. I don't get the. Matron's all right. Oh, if I had a power blast, I would just snap power blast there. Um, I can still draw like Blood Moon, even if they don't have a dual end now. That could be good. Even if they have like Island and Swamp, I would cast the Blood Moon because they would get Red Source, but it's just one of each, so they cannot cast Liliana or him or Jace. Or usually double spell, it makes it quite harder for them to cast multiple spells in a turn. If they only have loads of mountains, one swamp, one island. Two islands, okay. It's making it a bit more annoying. Uh, we do this crater maker. I think I I violent the crater maker. They're not gonna hit me anytime soon. Or Culligan's command. Yeah, I think I think I need a bit of pressure. Keep. 
they shuffled. I could matron for... Oh! Okay. That's something. Did not expect that at all. Oh, I was gonna say I could matron for Grinzo, cause Grinzo. But I don't think I want to do that anymore. Because one card like the be like Tot Caesar can trip would be really good to, to hit. But now it doesn't really matter. They cannot hit me or Colligan's command next turn. So Matron's coming down, they can Tot Seize me. So that's hard. I think I got a ringleader because then they have to take the ringleader. fire and go like beat down plan. Uh, if I had another land I could get a squad. That would be amazing. They're getting low on life as well. It's not something. And they need to get rid of this Muxus. Mm -hmm. So four drop or a port would be really good. Okay. I was thinking of getting um, Sling instead of Ringleader, because I, I was thinking like what would I rather draw next turn, uh, but I feel like I want to have a couple of Slings in the deck still, and also they, they were going to such low life, like the Sling might be even better than the... I feel like I kill that. Oh, if I kill that, I have lethal, yeah. If I don't, I cannot attack with this. They block here. Once you free, four. Control. All right. Oh no, let me have a Wii first. Perfect.
Okay. So, so far, Burn and Gixis, Grixis control. Uh, I like it. It's rough. I've been liking the, the four ports now. It's amazing, like how how commonly I was just wishing I drew them. So that's a sign of a a good multiple that you want in your deck. This is too. Using mana traders. Photo cards, because I don't have cards anymore. Okay, round three. On the play this time. Okay. Not great. But you know, let's have to draw goblins. I think uh, I'll, I'll start with Vial. No, no, get out. Get rid of my land. Mainly because I don't have much to do with my my lucky. I can just cast the power drive to the following turn, so I like waste the damage, and then I have a vial at one already. Okay. Okay, I'm happy I started with Vile. But my hand is terrible. Port, again, would be really good. They do. I don't know exactly what's best. If I double block Rubble Master or just block a token, take five. And then I can cast Squad. They don't have a follow up. Yeah, I'm gonna take the five. Let's see what else they have. <clears throat> now that's frustrating. Now I cannot cast squad. So now I wish I killed the rubble monster. If they don't do anything, that's a difference of one creature, one damage. Uh, three damage. Three. Three damage. Is it one okay? Does it do anything anymore? They play the chalice first because I can. Okay, because if they attack with everything, I could take six, seven, eight 
kill muggers and then cast Now do I really want my black mana? Just a three. Welcome to free. If I am to get a matron, do I really need an expert or yeah, so it's just gonna go to free. Then I kill this and get yeah, okay. Get a gem bomb. Oh no, let's just get another land. Mm-hmm. Luckily for us does this. My trip is not that bad, as long as this happens. I'm going to take 5 now when I need to kill the Rebel Master. I can get a, like a Chain Wheeler. That would just a bit of the damage. I would take 4 next turn and die. Oh, I can block him on as well, so I'll take four next turn and die. So it cannot be Chain Wheeler. So... Maybe Violet four? So I can get... Sling. Maybe that buys me a turn. you to win some games. It's fine. These are great. Starfire is alright. It sucks that it costs one mana, but it still is like the most efficient answer to a turn one rebel master. Then maybe Muxus. So you just don't do enough. Uh, not really keen on the power driver. I usually think that if I'm going to kill them they just are gonna die. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if I want the last Muxes or not, or if I want a Caracas. To return to, you can board or cast Chain Wheeler. So, if they don't have a stupidly fast start. Oh, okay. 
thought they were killing my my guy. I was nervous there for a sec. I can take four a couple of times. I think I port. Yeah, that means I cannot actually have six because I may need to start this prospector to make them not get another giant. Oh my. Okay. Right, buy was a card. I'm doing this right now, but it's a card. I think I'm gonna take four more. They can have a lot of problematic stuff. Chandra, okay. The zone damage to every creature, and I take two. Cool. Um, in that case, I like need to cast this chain wheeler or go matron. Can I go matron for sling or make for more gore marshal? Then a five man I can chain wheeler and muckle marshal. That's good. I mean, it's not great. Or I can turn wheeler now and do that next turn if I feel like it. Yeah, that seems a bit better on the minute. One card in hand, so maybe I just kill Bravo Master then. Mm. Well, this is hard. Second like Matron for Expert that gives me more creatures in play, which I like. If I just pray to make her, I don't do anything else. Jim Palm. Yeah, I think I'm matron for expert now. It's raining.
and I think I killed the rebel master. Yeah, there's no point in not doing it now, so. need to hope that they're even more flooded not draw like a shender or something good oh god oh just please be a terrible creature okay it's good for them actually uh, so I guess I take four with this So now I can matron for Muxus, cast crater maker, and leave mana open as well. I think that's better than 14. I died to like Chandra, not a giant. I think all my plays are to those things if I don't do anything. Maybe they choose to attract first. Or not. Let me see. with doctor I feel like I do because I I'm because at least I don't I'm not dead in the air next turn Ah, uh, play this first. Because if Darfire ends up being my answer to that, I want a mountain. Oh, okay, slings are. make me feel a bit safer. So if they take three, they go to nine. Then that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they have to block this. So I can attack with both. Oh! Ah! Oh. Press the button. Didn't matter. 
God damn it. Imagine if I lose because of that. It would be so even more upset. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good mux is good plan. And it was basically what I said in the. Like this power driver is just blocking. Whew. Go with the same thing. This is a no no. God damn. <sighs> I don't think. Lucky into port or wasteland into whatever it's gonna win this. I went to port then maybe. So I keep this. Give in War Chief and then Trash Master or Lieutenant. I think Trash Master, even though I really like Trash Master, maybe Lieutenant just buy me enough time to stay alive. Uh, Jim Bomb can kill the Rebel Master or something. Chalice me. That's frustrating. That means I probably lose. So, first land, I would have a lackey now in play. Hate me. My lucky would have connected. I feel like I don't port. And hope they play a um, rival master or a mentor. So they get a 1 1, but then I, I cycle and get to do something. No. No. It's a good creature. Oh well. Let's see if I find a. Parkinesis. Oh, I cannot search for anything. Uh, so I am regretting bottoming that Trash Master. The Sling Dang was Trash Master would have been so much better. Oh, yeah. What do they have? I think they have... um. Think it is gonna kill one more creatures if you wish to me, but I feel like I have to do this. Second turn for okay. So I'm just playing one ones now, so I might just port them. Oh, 
Oh, Trash Master, man. Could turn this game around. Burknesis would be quite good as well, I think. Oh, they don't actually have anything. Because, like, what are they not playing? In that case, I feel like I just built my board. Wait for the Trash Master to come, or the... I'll draw two Greater Makers. Uh, they, they must have a giant. Okay, they don't. One mana away from casting a big boy. So that's cool. Why? Oh, it's like an artifact. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe if I get a land... Oh, they, they can just kill Muxus and then kill me following turn. <sighs> I cannot cast both of these. hand would have gotten there and if I kept trash master instead of slinging maybe that was the mistake as well because trash master yeah unlocking those well everything that I play basically because I have a good two turns as window of opportunity to cast it Mistakes like mistakes like this. You know what? I'm feeling like gambling right now. It's just a game trip. Just a, no, it's not a game trip. It's dotsies. Okay. Can live with that. Uh, she might mean it's combo, but so they either take matron or a driver here.
Mm. So I could cycle and try to get something really good. But I think I just dropped Power Driver Cast Prospector. Not a terrible clock. Hmm. Okay, Cascrenzo. If there's anything I really want to play, I can probably do it. Maybe I get disruption or cantrips. Maybe I, I just found them a the way of shuffling their brainstorm. But I still get to see one card deeper. Dotsy Sturus. <laughs> okay. Uh Okay, I'm gonna add mana. So forget brainstorm and inferno tutor. They're gonna have a lot of mana, and they have to find tutor in their next card. the correct choice. I can take the two mana and then they can brainstorm into something. Brainstorm and LED. Yeah, I'm gonna go with what I think it's. I'm not gonna get a Linfo next turn, am I? Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, if I sacrifice you. Okay, go Grenzo. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Okay, so I have a decent 10 card sideboard. 
I don't think people play empty the orange anymore, do they? I just asked because I kind of want all my other cards now. Might be wrong, but I'm thinking I'm taking out a file. I'm taking out Chain Riddler, might be wrong as well. It's probably not good enough. Top and bottom. I could just wasteland. Could <laughs> get to all their underground seas, but it doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Not shuffle. Um, okay, I have to develop the vial. next turn if I get it next turn whoa two cards in the bottom okay I could search called lens still don't think it's the right thing Maybe if they cast a second, like, scouting turn or something that just fetches blue, I can search code them. The underground, so they don't have black. So like this, so unless they have like green, like a bayou, and so now I can play the waste. 
And if they fetch enough turn, I'm gonna do the play. That screwed up my plan. Um, sure. Maybe I can do it now. Yeah, they, they do play green. And a drop and that last fetch. Okay. Oh but that, that doesn't give them black. But they, they can float the black now, so it doesn't really matter. Even if I get like preordains to Yeah, I guess I didn't have the window to do the play I wanted, and I didn't draw any other hate. There is all that. I can just tutor chain out now. Take four out. There is four, five, six. Yeah. Nor. You can do whatever they want. Maybe if I was to tap the Misty and then Surico. You wouldn't be able to fetch black. Oh. So we're going to five. They start with seven. This way, if I drop our blast, I can keep it up. So hit the clock. Um, I'm playing the lucky turn one, yeah.
So if I draw a land, I can leave Relic up as well, which is cool. So I think I need to save this relic forever. Because this tops any past and flame kind of shenanigans. I'd love to be able to pyroblast that or do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Get up to try and find something. <laughs> but I think this was just bait, so I pop relic, they they pop petal and cast another one. So they probably have another tutor in their hand. Let's just see what happens. I'm thinking if Kraken for surgical. Oh no, they, they wouldn't have a graveyard. Joking. Graveyard does not do anything, so they have to search for the thing. Then maybe I get the trap. Oh, what's going to happen here? No. Nope. Oh well, so cracking it before wouldn't have done anything as well. Um. Oh no! Top cards in mind break crap. Why well, didn't it wait one more turn? My play 
that being the fetch would have been better than the one doing nothing. Alright, let's get that free too. Um, I won both matches, I was on the draw, so here is that. But the hands were not like this. Okay, that's keep. They went six as well. Like expert goes down. Wasteland, but I uh. so if so, I'm Raku. Not in America. No. Oh, well. Hey. I don't think there's a word or a win this. A war world. Okay, but at least that this shows like it, they they play very conservatively. <sighs> Can't even. Mm. Thinking if I play the partially commands, how many creatures I have to give me another show and tell. Do I port them? Let's see if I'm afraid to make her. Yeah, I think I port them. Uh, it's Nick Attack and Win. So that is my concern. 17, they're gonna take five. And I lose. Yeah. 
Maybe they have to show and tell. Okay. Really don't want to show and tell. I mean, I'm dead next turn, so maybe it doesn't matter for them. Okay. Maybe it does. Mm-hmm. Okay. So got you guys, you guys, and you guys. Usually take out this, this, a couple of these. I leave one, maybe two, depending on what I want to bring in. Need a couple of cuts. Grenzo is not actually great. Some cantrips. Then maybe I take a land. I think I should take the land out. I don't want to take out Red Source for the Power Blasts. Don't want to take coverage, so it's a waste or port. They're both so good. Ah, maybe this is the right choice. Maybe it's expert, maybe squad. No. One, I just like. Actually, <sighs> oh, think I. Yeah, it's Trash Master, because this Prospector is going to mean that I have mana always open. Mm. Yeah. Not in love with this, but it's what we got now. Okay, step one achieved. We got mana development. Some sort of clock eventually, and disruption. Now I just need to win the game. Easy two steps. Okay. I'm gonna save them forever. But they're like, oh, it's not lucky, this is so good for us, but <laughs> it's not. It's annoying to play this while they have that, but...
would have been even more awkward to have like a port and not use it. So, guess I'm happy I didn't draw port. Caracas would be nice. So, if I were to draw lands, uh, if they brainstorm, I can waste Misty in response. If I feel like that's a good play, sometimes it is. Gotta read P again. Need a break for the last last game. Eight cards in hand, I'm so screwed. Had to be like land show and tell. Force force. Okay, I can wasteland them now as well. And port them. Then if I want to cast Fire Blast, I think I just do. I suck the Prospector. Is it free now? It's like matrons or chief. I guess I think I should. Porting them is so bad. Still, might have sneak attack as well. Sneak attack. No, it's right down. Okay, so they forced this. How do I? Oh, 
Cool, okay. Cool. If they they have it, they have it. <sighs> Two person the bottom. Okay, that felt like a game free. I think that should have been game free. Mind break trap working. Anything if they pass a turn after the brainstorm, they, they probably win. Again. <sighs> okay, keep. I get a turn to squad. I know. Matron or trap. With the matron, if I draw another land, I have killing turn free. I don't think Trap is going to do the trick this game. Oh, there is that as well. But I think my hopes are slim. But this is, well, it's good against Joe and Tell. So I'm happy with this. <laughs> Oh, hi. Uh, goblins always win this matchup. <laughs> uh, apart when it's, it's Steve playing it. But yeah. I can't wait to win this matchup. Should I put Muxes into play? Or War Chief Plus Squad? Muxes let me waste. And it may just kill them in the swing back. And it's a little okay if they let me do anything. Oh my god, would the trap work? Oh no. They have a boat? Hmm. Now if they didn't have two volcanics, this this waste plus search code could do some harm. Um, I 
like it is Muxus, right? Yeah, I can even get like a something to destroy that petrol, that would be good. Okay. Nope. Just get a power driver. That's rough. Now, do I even want to waste now? I feel like I should. What have they done with their ponder? They shuffled. I can go for lands, I can go, I can... Let me just search call a ponder. Because they need to find this stuff. Do one, hopefully still. I had a pyroblast, I don't think I would do it, but and I feel like I do it now, even though they might draw it, because if they draw a brainstorm, there's just so much worse. If they want to cast the brainstorm, I suppose they have to crack the petal as well. Oh, preordain! <sighs> so none of the fetches would have done anything. They need a big land to be able to do something next turn or to draw show and tell. Okay. Or a petal. So there is actually quite a bit, quite a lot of cards. There's a different fetch. <sighs> For some reason. If I didn't wasteland, they could have played sneak attack and then I could have made him for a sling and probably win. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can sneak attack still next turn. They have Grizzlebrain, Misty, Snake Pierce. Wanna know. Yeah, I think I go for a squad now.
two mana. If I had something to, to destroy this as well, it just doesn't work. Show and tell doesn't. I'm gonna have good information on their hand unless. What do they have? They have a brainstorm? No. They're thinking about red sources maybe. Mm. So the categories are brand in hand. Uh, list to play for Emrakus. No, so maybe they, they drew the Emrakus. Because they have Mystic, Grizzle, Snake, Pierce. They don't have Show and Tell. They don't have Preordain, probably don't have an island, probably just play three petals. All forces are in the deck. Let's try and two CD of Traders. Maybe they drew a CD of Traders. Storms. What's up, Callum? Oh, you arrived at the, the precise moment. I'm, I'm in need of some help. I've looked at my opponent's hand last turn with a surgical, and I know that they still have Grizzle Brained, Misty Rainforest, Sneak Attack, and Spell Pierce in their hand. So they have one unknown card and three mana sources. They are pretty much dead on board. Oh no! I don't know what to take. Lots of spetto. Lots of spetto. He has another lots of spetto in hand. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, they have free. Lotus Petal in the library and had one in play. Yeah, definitely. They do have Lotus Petal. Thank you. <laughs> that was made my life so much easier. So they have Lotus Petal as well. Yeah. Um, so they're going to have three, four, five. Um, so I just take out the Emrakos, right? Yeah. I take out the Emrakos, they, they die. <laughs> Okay, taking out Emrakus. Oh my god. Because they attack me for 7. Doesn't really matter. They have to block a whole bunch of my creatures. And they, they're gonna have 5 mana. So Emrakus actually doesn't really matter. Because they need all the mana to sneak a Grizzle Brand in. So nothing matters. I'm gonna take out the Miracles. With a Grizzle Blend blocking, they block mm -hmm. like a Power Driver, they still die, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen. Yeah. Whoo! Well, Amoxus can put like four Goblin Welders in play. Think about that. Think about that. Okay, okay, we got that. Oh my days, that was stressful. <laughs> but yeah, Eurig Squad did help. Even Surgical was helpful. Um, 
I'm quite happy with how this is so far. What did I lose? I lost doing two mono red um, stumpy because of terrible draws and one or maybe two bad decisions. And I lost to Storm, I want to say. Oh, yeah. After winning one game because of Trap, and then they, they had... I went to five, and they could get away from Trap and then kill me. But... But, yeah. I feel like it's good enough. Fast hate. Uh, blue hate. Hmm. Haven't played against single Delver or Row deck, which is funny. But... Yeah, I did enjoy this. I may... Yeah, I may play this again tomorrow. Uh, and I, I think I like their early streams. Everyone else is streaming in the evenings. In here, at least, or very late at night. So I'm gonna do like a... Maybe 10 a.m. or so. In London. Everyone in the United States is gonna be asleep. But we don't care about them. And or maybe like having their their breakfast and can watch as well. Um, and yeah, I can either play this or could play with this greedy son of a bitch, which I really love. Uh, Rebel Masters, Instigators, and greedy stuff, or I can play Mikis's last list um, with some of the greedy stuff, but it's mostly a classic build, and the sideboard is quite different as well, with like these cards, but I don't know, I'm liking, I'm liking where this is at, I feel like this is probably correct. But yeah, I still actually need to go get some lunch, but thanks for watching, post this on YouTube, just search my name, it's Marcellus Catena, you can watch it, but yeah, see you guys next time, there you go now, it's time